Thank you for watching this video. This is exercise nine in the Alibra practice parts, and let's get started by working on the YZ plane. I'll activate a sketch, and we'll grab two circles, and we'll make them central right on the origin. We'll grab a diameter of 18 for our outer circle, and for our inner circle, a diameter of eight. We'll deactivate the sketch and I'll extrude mid-plane a distance of 80. Uh, from here we'll want to treat the ends, so we'll activate a sketch on each end. We'll grab a circle central to the origin and on the diameter we'll give this 14 and we'll cut extrude this a distance of 5. To be concise, I'll use mirror instead of cutting the other side as well. And I can choose my feature here, and I'll choose the plane to mirror about. And now I have the feature on both sides. Uh, and then we can continue with creating a plane. So I'll select the plane button up here. I'll choose the YZ plane. And of course, the Libre defaults to um, offsetting a plane from the YZ plane, a specified distance. But instead, I'm going to choose an axis. And there, Libra knows that I want to choose a plane to pivot around this axis relative to my YZ plane. So I'll give this an angle of 60 degrees, which, as you can tell, it will pivot around the central axis. And that looks about right. So next I want to make another plane. So I'll select the plane that I've just created and we'll give this a distance of 38 millimeters. And then I'll simply reverse the direction and click apply. Next, I'll select this plane, activate a 2D sketch. And if I want to look from the other end, I sure can just by clicking reset view. I'll select my origin and we'll give this a diameter of 18. I'll deactivate, extrude, and I'll select to next. There with that part of the um, pipe created, I will select this face, activate a sketch, and let's create a flange. Again, I'll create a circle. Give the circle a diameter of 22. And now I can draw a line into my circle here and here. Notice if I draw it carefully, I can add a nice tangent relation. Next, I can draw an arc between these features. And I'll simply make sure that these are merged. I'll add a tangent relation from there and also there. And make sure that this has a tangent relation as well. Next, I'll add a horizontal relation from our arc center to the origin of this sketch. And I'll draw a circle right on my arc center. Make this have a dimension of four. And we'll give this a diameter of eight, which is a radius of four. We'll also want to give this a distance. We'll go with 15. And we're fully constrained on this side. Let's do much the same. I can choose a three point arc for the ease of drawing it. You can also draw a tangent arc to save yourself from applying one tangent constraint. I'll grab equal. I'll grab a circle and add equal to the circles as well. You can add an equal constraint to those lines and simply add a horizontal relation there. Next, I can trim here and here. 
and we should have a good flange. So I'll deactivate the sketch. And next I want to extrude this flange. I'll go to a depth of four millimeters. So I'll select my sketch here, four, and we are good there. Next, I'll want to highlight this face again and activate a sketch. I'll add a circle. As before, we're gonna go a diameter of 14. We'll deactivate, we'll do an extrude cut a distance of five. And then I can select this face, activate a sketch, create a circle. We'll give this a diameter of eight. Deactivate now and extrude. And I'm gonna to specify to next. And that gives us a cut right on that face. All right, with that being done, I think I'd like to add uh, some chamfer features. Let's go with angle distance. And I'll go a distance of one millimeter at 45 degrees. And I'll actually clear any selections that I have in here. Um, I'll select this edge here, as well as this edge here. And I'd also like to make this edge here apply that, and then we'll want to maybe select a fillet there. We'll grab an edge, and we'll give this a radius of five millimeters. So we'll apply that, and then select this edge and apply. And that should be our part. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. And I'll see you in the next exercise.